John and Levi's have collaborated. John and Levi's have collaborated for a capsule collection that's going to be dropping sometime in September. And I'm a big fan of what I see so far. You've got a 10 piece, was it 10 piece? 10 piece capsule collection representing re no, re reinterpreting, reinterpreting or representing, reinterpreting timeless silhouettes through John's minimalistic lens. You've got some shirts, you've got some button ups, some jeans, some overshirts, caps, and a belt. But just very exquisitely done. I'm not really mad at that in the slightest. I wonder why they decided to do this capture collections with Jou with Levi's like this. Because this is all stuff they could have done easily themselves in-house. You know, there's not many things here that Jown don't already do on their own. So I wonder why they decided to do this with um with Levi's. That's something I'm curious about. But either way, the offerings available are really cool still. Um personally for me, if I was gonna pick, if I was gonna pick what the standout pieces would be, I would definitely say it's the Jown shirt with the horses. It's this plaid shirt. It's this these jeans here, this particular, the light gray and the kind of charcoal color jeans. And of course the overshirt and of course the belt. Those would definitely be my favorites to go for. But I think they could have done this in house if they wanted to. But I guess, you know, doing a collaboration with Levi's, who would turn that down? Um, you've got Levi's and Jown, 93 jean, gray stone washed um gray dark gray so the colors are gray stone wash dark gray and black over dye to be fair this particular size of or this particular shape of levi's knowing justin saunders and his style and having kind of been a fan of his from afar he's definitely a bit of a geek when it comes to the jeans and he's definitely a lover of levi's so most likely this particular shape he's probably poured over all the archives and decided on the best shape for him um, and for the brand that kind of fits his style and fits the stuff he's into so most likely this particular shape of jeans You're probably not gonna be able to purchase easily via Levi's anyway So this collaboration makes sense in that regard You're probably gonna be able to you know, this is definitely one of those one-off occasions So this is definitely one for the Levi's heads as well. You've got the big Levi's pull tab here on the back as well I look pretty cool. I'm not mad at that in the slightest But okay, they all come as one one inseam interesting. They all come as one inseam so You can't get them you can't get them longer or shorter. They all come as a 32 inseam. I've not really seen that available in a long time. So I guess you can get different size waist, but no one inseam, mid-rise straight leg, polished nickel hardware, um, jam stamp print on the where is, was it? On the where is inside leg. Jam pant stem, where is that? On the inside leg. Oh, sick. Look at that, there's a bit of print, there's a bit. Let's see, that's what I want for my Noah belt. At least give me a stamp. If I'm gonna pay 185 for like double hold fucking belt that I can buy in Camden, at least give me a stamp on the outside that shows people what I'm wearing. So I don't mind that in the slightest. I really, really don't mind that in the slightest, but I guess it depends on the stuff that you like and don't like. So it continues on from there. What else have we got here? So you've got the jeans. Um, this is probably one of my favorite pieces in the collection, this plaid shirt here. 100% cotton flannel, brushed exterior, unbrushed interior, relaxed fit, um, jam stamp above the left hem. And again, that stamp kind of reminds me a little bit of the stuff that Benjamin Edgar does as well with his stuff. So big up him. So I wonder if that's a little nod to him or whatever, or just general what he went to do. Single button barrel cuff and double needed stitch buttons as well. Maybe I would have preferred a little bit, a bit more of a subs, of a substantive, of substantial button maybe. Maybe a little bit more thicker, maybe to kind of hold it a little bit more. But I still like the finish on this shirt. This shirt is fucking gorgeous. Very well done. The back, what's the back hit there? Oh, oh look at that. You got a nice see John know what they're doing. It's all very simply done. The stitching isn't the greatest quality, but still that little hit on the back, the little John branding here on the back, that's gonna get my dick hard. I'm not gonna lie. I know I'm a little bit excessive with this, but that's gonna get my dick hard. Then you got Levi's t shirt in black, cotton washed, nineties grunge inspired screen print graphic on the front, J ninety fit, co branded neck label. I really like this as well. This is a really cool shirt. Imagine something that you would find in like a you know in like a charity shop somewhere you got these two big black horses careering in the front of this graphic with red eyes and down written in this like almost like metal western type of font and at the bottom here you've got n o o n two f double four zeros as well levi striker and the clothing the graphic is really cool i wonder who designed the graphic actually and then on the neck label you've got the co-branded label here as well you got the John Levi Strauss made in Turkey special issue. Not mad at that in the slightest. Look at the quality of that neck hole. Look at the quality of that neck hole. That is a nice man. I'm so used to buying fucking 10 pound t-shirts. Look at the quality of that neck hole. That's nice and fucking tight. I love the look of that as well. 
and they got a nice little label on the side there as well it says levi's i wonder if you could flip it it says jammed on the other side i doubt it but still very very nicely done not mad at that in the slightest available in white and then there's this other jacket oh it's a suede coach jacket is that what it is a suede coach jacket that is fire isn't it yeah it is just a suede coach jacket wow that's gonna be bucks though <sighs> with silk lining on the inside and metal snap buttons oh ho, ho. this might be the standout piece this suede coach jacket might be the standout piece this is fucking gorgeous god damn it john went crazy look at that and it's also got the stamp as well this is like is that tonal black yeah of course it is nice and tasteful you got the john here on the back as well tonal black lovely nice and tasteful and then of course you got the metal snap buttons as well like yeah they did a, they did a really good job with these and has that got john written on the side of it of course it has levi look at the little details man this is well worth the money when this eventually does end up dropping this is probably one of the strongest collaborations i've seen actually this season i'm not going to lie especially capsule collections they went fucking crazy and there's also a levi's suede cap i'm not really interested in and of course the belt which i also love as well so loads of great stuff there from john and levi's capsule collection really really fucking impressive really strong when is it due to come out this is due to come out in stores on the 6th of september so this week so check that out if you're not if you're that way inclined it's available to launch the 6th of september and be available to purchase on levi's.com also the levi's app and also levi's stores and jam.com all on the 6th so dropping all on the same day all on the 6th across all sites jam and levi's check it out if you're that way inclined all stuff is going to sell out i'd assume most likely i guess the standout piece is probably everyone's going to be going crazy for is definitely the shirts because they're going to be the cheapest this this horse shirt and maybe the hat um does the hat have does the hat actually have any branding on it at the front does the hat just have any branding on the front or is it just like a plain hat what's it got anything yeah nothing on the front just on the side okay cool if i had maybe the jams on the front people would probably be going crazy for it but if i had to guess the standout piece that'll probably sell out the shirt because it's cheap the jeans again because people are addicted to denim nowadays and want a particular cut and you can't probably get this cut or this particular shape or this particular color from levi's directly so you get it through this collaboration and then i'd assume they probably didn't make many of this suede coach's jacket that probably cost a lot to make so i doubt they made a lot of these so most likely this will also sell out so um be prepared if you want to get the plaid or the t-shirt or the jeans or the suede jacket they're going to be going for bucks and they're going to be going quickly so make sure you get your hands on them make sure you get your hands on them